A Shakopee man used the music, his musical talents to uplift the members of his church. And as a stay-at-home dad, he shared those musical abilities with his three children. It was his absolute soul. His absolute soul was music. Scott Vopel was only 40 years old when he lost his battle with colon cancer last Saturday. In this week's life story, Angela Davis shows us how his family is grateful for the time they had with Scott. Hold on to me as we go. The decision to leave his job at Schmidt Music and take care of his young children while his wife worked as a doctor came easily to Scott Vopel. He said, nope, I absolutely want to do it. And not once did he call or complain or call me at work and say, help. He never did any of that. He absolutely adored being with these kids. And he loved music. Scott played seven instruments and sang. He and his wife, Kari, shared a passion for theater. Together, they started Musicals with a Mission at St. John's Lutheran Church in Shakopee. Scott composed the music and performed. Last year, a colonoscopy revealed a large tumor. Surgery revealed the cancer had spread. But his first words out of his mouth was like, um, I want you and the kids to keep living. Oh my, you know, I don't want to, I want, I don't, I'm sad about leaving you guys, but I'm sorry that you have to go through this. And he kept saying that. You kind of think, why would this happen? And, but then I think, look what he gave us. He gave us three wonderful children that he spent all of his time giving to them. Scott's kids, Landon, Hogan, and Karis, shared what they loved about him. One of the favorite things I like to do with my dad is I always asked him questions, and then he would always answer them the best he could. Well, I think I got his um, musical abilities. Um, I'm in a choir, and I play tenor saxophone, and the piano and the drums. I really like how he always sang and danced with me, and we played a lot of games together, like, I guess, the princess. And Angela Davis, WCCO yeah. 4 News. Scott Vopel died last Saturday. He was 40 years old. His funeral is this Saturday at St. John's Lutheran Church in Shakopee. If you have a life story suggestion, share it with Angela at WCCO.com links.